to uh, Francis von Zernick's head full of useless information about movies. Uh, our guest today, as you can see, is Don the Dragon Willison. And uh, it was a good show. We just wrapped the show. And we did his uh, list. I don't want anyone to know what the list is. But we, before we were talking about, as the show was, I'm a huge, I love Chris Van. Yeah. I think he is, he did a movie called The Wildlife. It's also on my list, mm -hmm. and and seeing him in that movie, I just I, I don't know. I people say I used to look like him a little bit when I was younger, and and I don't know. It's something he has such a great quality. About well, the best him. movie, the best performance, well, he won Best Actor at the uh, Venice Film Festival was uh, The Funeral. Have the Funeral, yes, of course, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was, um, that was uh, phenomenal. He was he was. And Pretty shortcuts, he was great in. Yeah, he yeah, was fantastic yeah. in that. Yeah. And I, I know that you. Do you ever meet Ashley Hamilton? Yeah. Well, yeah. It, it, he was saying how because he, I think he was friends with Sean and uh, Chris Penn for a while. Um, uh, uh, he was saying how uh, um, uh, Robert Altman, who directed Shortcuts. Yeah. Kind of I went to the dailies. Oh, you, know. you did? When, oh, Robert okay. Al when Robert Al Altman has dailies, he's a good go to because they serve food there. <laughs> so he like lets, he's an yeah. amazing director. Yeah, he's, like so he lets the cast yeah. come and see the dailies. Oh, we, we, see, we, I we, could we, never do it that. It wasn't just the cast. He would let people, people for parties. Was, well, maybe this was just one day. Maybe it was a special thing. Well, I don't it know. Could be, yeah. But he invited me, hey, you want to come see some dailies? I said, like, yeah, sure. Let me see what the movie is about. So... But the, the amazing thing is this: the dailies that you see at Altman's, uh -huh. dailies look better than my. Of course, they look better than my movies. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the, maybe well, they were maybe they really were selected good. selected yeah. dailies. Well, yeah. we've had some good look. The yeah, look of the film: it, we yeah. shoot a thirty-five millimeter camera. We use a Panavision thing. Uh -huh. it, it, the only difference is the DP. So that we've and the time, the time it takes to light. Uh, we've had some very talented DPs. You know. Yes, you have. My I've wife my worked research. with um, said, yeah. the guy that Spielberg uh, Kaczynski. Can, Oh, Jan you're kidding me. Jan Jan yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. He worked for Corman, and my wife worked with him. So See, Roger now Corman. Yeah, oh no, he was a, one of the Corman films. He was the DP. So we did have DPs who went on to do uh, great work. One, one of the cable uh, ace award winning DPs was um, Rick Boda, I believe is his name. Uh -huh. And Rick directed, uh, or not directed, he did, was the director of photography for uh, Forced to Fight, one of my movies. Oh, okay. And he went on to do that... Um, not the creep show, but it was uh, creep night of the. the uh, oh, uh, oh uh, not that. Yeah. But it was the, the, right. it, it was the series on HBO. Oh, oh, Tales of the Crypt. Tales of the Crypt. Oh, okay. yeah, he all was right, the right, uh, right. TV right. for that. Wow. And he won the Cable Ace Award. And for that. talk about Joel Silver. Oh, no. Joel Silver produced that show. Walter Hill produced that oh. show. Robert Zemeckis. Well, that's the guy that well, you know he won't return my phone calls. Well, so. <laughs> um, uh, uh, but I want to talk more about Chris Penn because I. I just think he's, it's something about him that I love, and when he passed away, it was, to me, a tragedy. And, and for many reasons, but selfish reasons, I wanted to work with him so bad. I wanted to make a movie with him so bad. Well, look, I was the last I, person I to speak get to, to him, anymore. and I could tell everybody that... You were the last he, person to speak yeah, to Yeah, the, the phone records. Yeah. Oh, God. So he, what we talked about, I was on a movie set at the time, I was shooting a film at the time. What we talked about was his lifelong dream is, was the script they wrote, and he was going to direct it. He wasn't going to appear in it as an uh -huh. actor, but he had a script. And I had gotten the green light from the company I was working, Gorilla Pictures. Uh -huh. We were going to produce that film. And uh, he was so, he was in such a good mood. And, and you know, he weighed 310. And so he I spent a lot of yeah. time talking about weight loss, and I, I said, listen, I'm going to make a commitment, Chris. When I finish this movie up, I'm going to have a little money, I'm going to hire my fitness trainer, and he's going to come in and live with you. Not not just training two hours right, a day. Right, right. Live with him, and I said he's going to clean out your refrigerator because uh -huh. you know it, it, it's it's mainly ninety percent diet. This what you put in your mouth is going to determine what kind of a body you've got. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know you can do everything else, but that's all cosmetic. Bodybuilding, lifting weights, doing uh -huh. pushups, lift whatever. It's the food you eat. It, it, I tell it to be it's like having a car and putting regular gas in it. You're not going to win the Indianapolis Five Hundred. I don't care what they do to the engine. Mm -hmm. What they, if you don't have the right fuel, you're not going to. Right, right. So anyway, he was going to come in, and I was going to pay for it. He was going to live with Chris uh -huh. for months, whatever it took, to lose that weight. He weighed 310 pounds. 
When I met him, when you're talking about wildlife, he was 168. Then he was. So he, one, he was buff. Lean. He was. But right. he had a lot he was of muscle. Weights. He, was, he was a great champion. Yeah. He was a wrestler in high school. He played football. Oh, and he plays a wrestler in wildlife. Him and Dean Kane played football together. Oh, they were really? The yeah, they were good friends. That's where really? I met Dean Kane. Yeah. How funny. Yeah. Well, um, uh, there's a story, and you can stop me, uh, about um, uh, uh, you're in Say Anything. Yes, yeah, and yeah, I, I love yeah. that movie. That's it's not on my list, but it's a fantastic. Movie. Oh, it's it's it's, it's, it's one of the only intelligent, me. growing of kids. Growing yeah, of age, yeah, you know, it's pretty, pros first. Pretty yeah, sharp. Yeah, 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 good writing. Um, and you were talking, and and you stop me if this is not for the air, but you were telling me uh, about John Cusack uh, in that movie and how you were actors. You were young actors going on auditions together. Oh no no no! I was not a young actor going on auditions. Here's what here's well, what it was. The here's what it was. Thing, I did go on an audition. Well, but here's what it was. Right? I was flying through L.A. Uh -huh. on my way to one of my fights in the Orient. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, and yeah. on the way, a friend of mine who had a friend, this casting director, uh -huh. not a casting director, she was an agent. Okay. She said there was a part for an Asian guy in a martial art action kind okay. of sci-fi. I think Charles Band was, was making Oh, uh, the Empire Pictures. I love yeah, those movies. Made, exactly. I, yeah. But anyway, I think it was called The Eliminators or Exterminators or something. But anyway, yeah. it was a role. So she said, would you read for it? Even though you're not a non-actor, uh -huh. you'd be right for it. So I said, okay, I'll read for it. So when I'm flying through, so this woman uh -huh. who worked for this agent, I for some reason the agent wanted to meet me, and, and I met her at her apartment. Uh -huh. She had a place. That woman, was name is Ann Geddes. Uh -huh. Okay. On her couch, John Cusack was sleeping. Uh -huh. He lived in Chicago. That he was a young teenage yeah. kid. He was auditioning for a movie on the same day. So he approached me about we're gonna split a limo. I'll pay for half, and he pays for half of the minimum. I think it was a four hour minimum. <laughs> And so we both show up in limos instead of a taxi cab. He didn't want to pay a cab. Uh, show up and get out of a cab yeah. and go to Warner Brothers or wherever he was auditioning. Um, so that's how that came about. Now, what, the funny thing is, Ann Geddes had a boyfriend at the time, an actor. Uh -huh. And that's who coached me. Because remember, I'm a kickboxer flying through town. I'm not an actor, so I don't know what an audition is. Uh -huh. So the guy who, who um, coaches me is uh -huh. named Steve Williams. Stephen Williams, a okay. black actor in Hollywood. Uh -huh. uh, had 21 Jump Street. That was one of the shows that he oh, was the Oh, the guy who plays the uh, lieutenant. Yeah, the, the, the lieutenant. Yeah, yeah, I Steve know Williams actor, yeah. did the, the coaching for me. Yeah. Years later, oh, how funny. We, years later, we did a, a, a Corman movie together. He was the police captain um, who arrested me and interrogated me. and what, uh, He was the, 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 the co-lead oh, okay. in one of my movies with All me. All right. So, uh, you know, so, anyways, that's how Hollywood is. It's a, it's a strange and then you, circle. And then say anything. How did you get that? Uh, uh, you're in it. Yes. Well, well Chris, Chris knocked Chris him right. out. Chris wasn't right for it. Cameron wrote it for Chris. That's why right. I was a kid. Oh, Cameron it. wrote it for Chris Penn. Yeah, yeah. That's why, oh. that's why we were meeting. Because Chris right. was going to do the movie. Right. Oh, okay. Because James right. L. Brooks is the, the executive producer or whatever. Mm -hmm. But Cameron was directing it, and he wrote it. And uh, that's why I was a kickboxer. So Chris Penn was going to play was John Cusack part. Right, he but wrote he did not that. really look like a, a teenager. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. they needed to find somebody. Now, I had met Cusack, but I don't, I cannot take credit for saying, oh, I threw his name out first. It could have been 20th Century Fox or James right. Edwards. Or, yeah, I don't yeah. know where his well, name was. But, but, but yeah. I was asked by Cameron if I would train him for the movie. Because he had the fake that he's a kickboxer. He didn't want to do a big rewrite. Right. I mean, they were ready to shoot the thing in the last at the last minute. I guess Cameron decided Chris did not look like a teenager. Right, he looked right, a little yeah, old yeah, yeah. for the character. Um, too much partying in Hollywood. <laughs> he could age you. But, um, so anyway, I was hired uh -huh. uh, by Cameron to train John. And uh, w as I was training him, uh, I don't know if he added this scene or whatever, but he asked me to actually appear in the movie. Uh -huh. Just to do a little sparring thing, and then I throw a, a kick that supposedly breaks his nose in the film. Right. And, and it's uh, a good scene, because it's when she walks in. Correct. And, and, he, and she gets you know, distracted. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. let me tell you something. You don't turn, when you're sparring somebody and they're throwing punches at your uh -huh. face and kicks, you don't turn your head. <laughs> Obviously, but anyway, um, they actually used my name in the movie. I mean, Cameron, yeah, when, at the dinner just scene, he Cameron says, was just being yeah. very generous to me. I mean, it didn't, yeah, it didn't. Well, to be yeah. fair, you were you were a very famous kickboxer. I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, uh, uh, but, but, but the point, I was brought up uh, yeah, because yeah. because the father would not know me though. Yeah, it was a different yeah. generation. No, no, no. Yeah, you know, John Lucas says, "Don't talking thing," and you know, the kickboxer's part of future. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the dad was actually playing probably my dad, John Honey, my yeah. real dad. Oh, my oh. real dad didn't like kickboxing very much right. and didn't approve. It didn't go to my fights. And 
know. I want to go back to, and then and then we'll end. But uh, 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 the Eliminators, this movie, this yeah, yeah. Empire. Yeah, I, I movie. auditioned for that. I love. I it's a good from friend of mine got it. I know this. Conan Lee got the part. Oh, I love this movie. I oh, remember when I've it came out. It. I, it's it's actually good. I'm a big fan of these but Empire Conan Lee movies. Did it. Yes, Conan I know the, who you're talking about. Yeah. And the woman, I can't think of her name. Wilson something is the girl in it. And it's, you know, Empire Pictures, Charles Band. Anthony Barneo was the casting director. Oh, uh, you Anthony know, when Barneo. I went in red for him for another on Hollywood Boulevard. Real nice guy. Yeah, yeah. Real I'm nice a guys. big fan of Charles Band in these Empire movies. Yeah, they, those days. They, they kind of took, a, they they did what. Moon uh, uh, something, Moon? Uh, well, Full Moon, Stone. they full changed moon. it. It used to be it Empire did. Pictures. Moon, yeah. And then it became Full Moon. And Charles Band and all those guys over there, John Bulacher and. Uh, they they were doing what I think, um, uh, and they had success at it. What Corman was doing, of course, of course, you know, same kind of thing. And Many they made interesting Many quality were. movies, yeah. you know, and that still they're on Netflix now, like Dolls. Do you and remember the they had the first big robot one before robot, the ro 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 robot, robot jocks? jocks. Yes, yeah, that's kind of cool. Yes, yeah, that's and now and the real steel is basically robot jocks, you know. Yeah, but they had some groundbreaking things. That yeah, they did. They did. And his son Charles and Albert Charles Band, Band, but, Albert Band, yeah. and and he did the music. Charles Band, he did, and Reanimator was one of the most famous. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of a yeah. quirky yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, well, uh, uh, thank you for listening. And if you're watching on YouTube, click on the link.